Aha, back. Good. So now things are getting pretty somewhat intense. <coughs> this. Oh yes, Rebecca makes a shopping list. Oh, she sent it to Lucy. Uh, no, she sent it to everyone. I remember that. I'll get onto that, because there's a little typo glitch or something there. Anyways. So finally, near the end, um... In sequence eight, <coughs> come out of the animus and check emails and whatnot, and then check Lucy's inbox. Scroll all the way down, ah, and you'll find a final email from Will. <coughs> and this one uh, confirmed a lot of my questions, and then posed some other questions and stuff. So, when Lucy was gone, from reading this, in my opinion, she went upstairs to her room. I don't know if they have a cell phone, I don't know if they have like anything like that. I'm guessing it's going to be a cell phone. They all share with each other or something. And she called Will, or maybe there's a phone inside the villa, because... That's what she says, that Rebecca was able to patch in a phone line. So, I'm guessing she went upstairs and had a huge spill, like, about, like, how she's doubting herself, and, like, she can't keep this up forever, and, like, all this stuff she kind of told Desmond when they were outside talking. Because the title of this email is called Misgivings. So... <coughs> The issues you raised in your last voicemail have taken me by surprise, to say the least. Think of all the work, all the stress and planning we've put into this. We had our suspicions for years about Minerva, about that particular piece of Eden. Your tapes confirmed it. Now we can study it and discover the truth. You've been waiting nearly a decade for this day. Don't put Desmond in danger just because of feelings you may or may not have. We are only going to get one shot at this with the short amount of time left. Don't fail us now. Slap. So... Did they already know about Minerva? What? We had our suspicions for years about Minerva, about that particular piece of Eden. Huh? Maybe they just didn't know where it was? I don't know, that's confusing. But, yeah, so she's been away spilling out doubts and stuff to Will. Don't put Desmond in danger just because of feelings you may or may not have. I think she likes Des, but maybe She's not sure, how do you say it, like, like, what if something happens to him, like, the bleeding effect is getting worse and everything. Hmm. I don't know, maybe, she, like, they're flirting, like, they flirt all through the tunnels and stuff, right? Maybe she's, I don't know, maybe she's afraid to tell him that she likes him or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Stuffins. Now, I'm gonna go back here for a second, and so yeah, so here we are, Abstergo is focusing on their satellite instead of hunting for us. Whoa. So, in my little opinion, now that I've been brewing over this, um, when Desmond asks Lucy, like, oh, how are you still getting data from Abstergo? And she's like, oh, some old passwords still work, but I can't dig deep. 
too deep into the network, everyone is just like, wait, what the hell? My little guess is, and I said this in like my AC2 videos I made, which hopefully I'll remember to post before this, well, I know I will. Um, at the end of number one, the head boss or whatever, Alan Rickon, is like, okay, I'm sending out all my, like, Abstergo guys to find the pieces of Eden and, um, take down the rest of the assassins. So, all the, from what I can see, all the head guys are out doing things, and now Abstergo is too busy with training their new recruits and far too busy focusing on like their new satellite their satellite thingy so maybe they're all too busy to be noticing or changing any passwords like they don't care maybe because they think they're like you know too far ahead or something I don't know because they wouldn't just let her like walk right in like hack right in but like as Rebecca said that Lucy was able to get, like, schematics and stuff out to her so she could build the Animus, this Animus here. And, like, Lucy built the freaking Animus itself. Like, she designed this thing. So, she's smarter than she looks. Let's, uh, let's throw it that way or something. Oh, breathe. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah. We have some like seriously smart people in this room right now. Like it's it's scary. Freaking scary. Like like Rebecca can like modify the animus and stuff like Watch me go into the Amos again. Please not. Okay, no. Okay. See this... This... This arm thingy-majig? From what I've noticed, there's no more needle this time. Right? They put the needle in your arm to monitor your vitals. I think this is what this little screen on the side does. Like Desmond puts his arm in there. There. Because he can, like, log in and log out, too. But I think that's also what it does. It monitors his vitals uh, from this new armchair thingamabob. <sighs> Eek. So, I don't really know what's gonna happen in the next AC game coming out this year now, haha. -ha. But, it's gonna be really intense, it's getting more intense with every game. Like, god. Like, more questions. Like, some things are being answered, but then more questions are taking the place of the questions that are answered, and it's like, oh my god. Wah. Anyway, like again, like th these are only, these are my opinions and stuff, right? Like all you guys have your opinions. Like I know some people think Lucy's a traitor and and stuff, which I can understand that because like it's really confusing. Just like some of the stuff like that, like even. Um, what's it called? The ab ab escape, the escape from abs the abs ab can't even talk anymore. The escape from the Abstergo facility. I agree, it did seem too easy. Because I replayed it like five times today. Because I was having fun beating up guards. But yes, there's not many security guards in the animus room with all the animi 
However, back to that thing where Alan Rickon is like sending out all his guys. Again, maybe they're just too confident that you're not gonna escape. They don't know Lucy's gonna betray them and bust you out. Hmm. And then... What's it? The escape from, um... The hideout, that's the word. Uh, the escape from the hideout seemed easy, but... I don't know, maybe Vidic thought that... Like, we wouldn't know all the skills by that time. Right? Like, hidden blade skills and whatnot. And... I don't know if Templars have guns. Not 100% sure on that. Cause like, I don't know, maybe he was- maybe Vidic was just testing us being like a prick. Right? I don't know. We're gonna get him though, he's- he's boss. We're gonna beat the shit out of him once uh, we run across him again, seriously. But again, no, maybe he was just testing us, thinking we didn't get all those funky skills. Because I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows that we pick up skills. Or we've picked up any skills. So. That, as I walk in aimless amounts of circles, that's what I think. And if I'm proved wrong, that's fine. If I'm proved wrong, proved wrong in the next scene, that's fine. But I want to know a whole bunch of reasons. Right? We all want answers. And I'm much happier with this string of um, theories videos than my last interrupted, constant interrupted bunch. Yay. Um... Carol, I can't really remember if there's anything else I wanted to talk about, but yeah, that's my opinion. Um, I'm not for those who haven't beaten Brotherhood. I'm not saying anything about the ending, right? You guys can uh, see that for yourself. But as opposed to everything that's floating around that I've seen, like on forums and stuff, no. Now that I've read those emails. Like, both Sean's, like, because I just came across that today, I forgot. I didn't even realize he had another one from Will. I forgot about that. And then the one from Will, the last email from Will to Lucy about, like, like, you know, you're not giving up. Like, you know, we're not giving up. Like, blah, 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 blah. No. No. I don't think she's a traitor at all. Not anymore. I did at one point. But no, not anymore. So now, we're just gonna have to unfortunately sit and wait until the next game comes out to find out what the hell happened. <sighs> Alrighty guys, so that's it. I'm done. My brain is like fried for today. And again, uh, Happy New Year's. And I'll see you guys in my next LP whenever that's going to be up. Thanks for watching all my theories and stuff, guys. And again, this is my opinion. I'm entitled to it, and you guys are entitled to your opinions too, okay? Thanks, guys.